The Department of Social and Health Services is at the center of a lawsuit. They're accused of not acting fast enough when five children were abused by their parents, Jeff and Sandy Weller. And some new information shows that social workers got 25 warnings about the abuse. Carla Castaño is investigating and she has more on those reports. This was a systemic failure from top to bottom. This is the worst case I've seen. It's the best example of the worst social work I've ever seen. On the outside of the home, it seemed normal, but the children inside scavenged for cans of food they pried open with knives. There were locks on the refrigerator and food pantry. Also alarms, cameras, and locks on the windows and doors of the children's rooms. And brutal beatings with this piece of lumber police found covered in dry blood. She would call for Jeff and tell him it's time for their beating. And he would say, how many? And she'd tell him. Help finally came after a desperate note scribbled down by the oldest daughter in her counselor's office. It said she and her twin brother would be beaten when they left the house. Two days later, CPS and police officers showed up at the house. This after 25 previous reports coming from a teacher, a therapist, a school nurse, medical staff, the list goes on and on. The school, people in the community, people who have regular contact with the children, it wasn't a singular uh, source. And so that was also concerning. This former CPS worker says with so many people reporting the Wellers so many times, there should have been a major investigation. We went to the main Vancouver DSHS office, but they just referred me to their other office in downtown Vancouver. Staff there told me to call their Olympia office, who told me they couldn't comment on pending litigation. Now the children's extended family is helping them to reach out to attorneys who are making the multi-million dollar claim against the state. And at a minimum, they were required under Washington law to contact law enforcement, and they didn't do any of those things. This claim gives the state two months to respond before they filed the $54 million lawsuit. Meanwhile, the Wellers were each sentenced to 20 years in prison. Live in Vancouver, Carla Castaño, Coin 6 News. Carla,